it is Saturday and yes I know I know but y'all know I try to keep it as real as I can for y'all this is what I look like in the mornings um, anyway I'm about to show you guys some footage that I don't want to go to waste um, you guys know I don't vlog as often as I should and I want to vlog more I'm not even gonna say anything because I keep saying I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna try and then I don't anyway but I don't want this footage to go to waste it's some of Kehlani of what I can show and her first birthday party which she did turn one on January 22nd and then I even have a clip of Boston in here so I don't want any of that to go to waste so I'm gonna show you guys that and while you guys are watching that I am going to get ready So Savannah's trying to get a picture of her in front of the fireplace, but she's not interested. Apparently she loves Savannah's camera. She's a photographer. She's gonna be a photographer? You gonna be a photographer, bug? Huh? Here. Boston will let Savannah do anything. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Boston, you gotta stay away from us. You gotta quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> and I started a fire because it's freezing in here. Oh my goodness! I know, right? <laughs> we don't talk. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is like our 80th time watching this. Well, hello. Happy Wednesday. Yes, it's today Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. And I am on my last 10 minute break. I always forget to take my last 10 minute break, you guys. And then I'll look at the clock and it's like, um, I'm leaving in 45 minutes. Maybe I should take my break, you know. So I have Bible study tonight to go to at my church. My front door is open in case you guys hear cars passing by so what has been going on with us you guys nothing well there are some things that's going on some things I can talk about some things I can't or I just won't and I'll explain that in a minute this week part of the thing I can talk about this week we have like a church conference at another church um, but I'm going to my own church tonight and I took off tomorrow because it's like a ladies day so women speakers or whatever like that for the ladies so this church that I'm going to not my church now but the church that I'm going to be going to tomorrow for the ladies day conference their web page they put out a list of their safety guidelines for now and they said that either to be fully vaccinated and they want to see proof of that or you can show them a negative COVID test within the last 24 hours. And with them, they will allow you to, I'm just looking at my phone. With them, sorry y'all, just always have a feeling because the way my computers are set up, my screens, I can't see outside my front door unless I look up or look around. So I always have like this, not fear, but this like weird, thing of people walking up to the door while I can't see them that I don't know they walked up I don't know anyway so that's why I keep looking because it sounds like someone's walking up and they're not I'm paranoid I'm not paranoid anyway what was I saying y'all I'm just rambling I know so anyway on this church website they put up their safety guidelines and I know a lot of places like when you go on a cruise or whatever they want a certain kind of test they don't accept the at-home test they want you to go get at least I think they want you to go get a test like at Kaiser or at a designated place like that but with this church they are willing to accept the at-home tests a lot of people were saying I'm not getting the vaccine so I guess I'm not going okay they didn't tell you you have to take the vaccine to go they told you show proof of it and or a negative COVID test so whatever I mean they don't go more room for us anyway that's what I'm going to do tomorrow and what else next month I took off um, a few days 
and we're going to be taking a trip um, not sure where yet remember our weekend trips to LA like we were going twice a month it was so much fun I miss LA I miss LA guys but I don't want to live there so see this I know I'm just rambling talking about just the randomest things anyway this right here if it will focus this is perfume and it's princess tiana it's the princess collection and um savannah got it from torrid for me she went shopping with evie the other day and she went in here because my child thinks of me not that my other kids don't she smelled it and she was like oh my goodness my mom would love this and it's just like on a little roller ball thing but Mmm, this smells so good. I do have the Ursula one from this same collection, but this smells way better than the Ursula one. So, I don't know why I brought it here. I brought it here, and I put it on, but I should have put it on in my room when I got ready. Um, what else, you guys? Oh, and so Tyreek has moved back home. That's all I'm going to say about that, out of respect to Tyreek and Kehlani. Um... Cause there's a lot I could say there's a lot I want to say but I'm not going to um, out of respect for him and it's not my business to tell not my place to tell if he ever decides to start his channel up again and you know say it on there that's his business but you know I I won't be saying anything about it so when you see him and hear him and whatever yes he's home so yeah I'm happy to have my son back home though so yeah you guys I'm happy um, anyway, um, I've been talking for six minutes. So today's Thursday. I took a nice long nap after I went to the ladies conference earlier today, <laughs> which I didn't vlog at all today. This is the first time me picking up the camera, but I wanted to show you guys the books that I got from their eight steps. Prayer journey is by Patricia Kleindest or Kleindest, Kleindest. Um, she was one of the speakers today. And also this book, God has a waiting room by Kim Haney and Kim Haney is the pastor's wife of the Stockton Christian Life Center um, yeah so anyway I got these books and I cannot wait to start reading them okay I'm back and Tyreek is playing the guitar I miss hearing his musical abilities in the house anyway so today is Saturday and hope you enjoyed the videos from before of Kehlani and then of Boston. Of course, I didn't vlog the night we had to say goodbye to Boston. Savannah handled it very well. I was very proud of her. She had started a GoFundMe page and she was trying to have the surgery done and I wasn't gonna tell her no because that's how she was dealing with it, whatever. But if a going away like that could be beautiful, it was because she turned on the church music that her in Boston usually listens to when he's sleeping in her room. And, you know, we comforted him and told him we loved him. And the doctor came in, did what she needed to do. It was fairly quick. And then after that, she said, take all the time we needed. And so we did. I'm at peace with it. We're at peace with it. I mean, it's still sad, but we're at peace with it. We got him cremated. We were supposed to get his ashes back within two weeks, and they're going to have a paw print on it as well. So, yeah, Savannah is happy about that, and I'm just going to give it to her because we know Boston was her, her dog. So, anyway, today we are going to a bridal shower at our church. Somebody is getting married actually in a couple of weeks and we're going to the wedding as well. But right now we're about to go to Arden Mall because we still haven't got her a gift yet. What time is it? I think I should get going. Yeah, we're trying to get there when the mall opens. So let me get here in the mall, you guys. Look how empty it is. No one's here. And Cheyenne is here with us. Say hi, Cheyenne. All right, I'm just trying to get everything together I'm actually at Target the girls went in to get a gift bag I'm just gonna use what I got at Victoria's Secret um, I bought her something from Victoria's Secret cuz I don't know her that well so I'm going the more conservative route my girls know her well because the young lady who's getting married she is I think 22 or 23 and 
my girls are good friends with her but I'm just being a little bit more conservative conservative I don't know her that well but she is an awesome young lady and yeah but my girls we went to Spencer's you know how Spencer's in the back area has the little inappropriate things yeah my girls got her stuff from that and I'm not gonna show you guys because this is a family channel so yeah my gift is in here and what I got her is just like um a little nighty use your imagination on that but um I'm looking down at here yeah I can't show you nothing of what Savannah got her or Cheyenne yeah I'm not gonna do that anyway they went into Target because Cheyenne needed a gift bag for her stuff from Spencer's oh so did Savannah so yeah and then we are going to go to the bridal shower and I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog there at all probably not you guys but yeah I am feeling a whole lot better today as far as with everything that we've been through this week with Boston yeah I still missed a little guy and when I come in the door I expect to hear his feet on the hardwood and I'm like oh yeah that's right and yesterday I washed his bed his blanket and his pillow yes I did said his pillow he was spoiled like that we spoiled that dog and I felt like I was washing him away but I rather do it than have Savannah do it because it would have been really hard on her so I did that and then whatever food he had left in his food dish I dumped the water out and threw the food away and I washed this dish out so I just set everything to the side and someone messaged me on Instagram and asked if we were going to get another dog well I know before I was saying that we were gonna get another dog and that was mainly for Boston so he can have company or whatever and I'm sure we will eventually but not right now we we need time to heal I washed out his crate as well I mean it wasn't dirty but just like I don't know just cleaned it out and yeah it's there but um, so the answer to your question is not right now yeah It is Monday, so y'all already know when you hear what's going on. Um, yeah, I'm on my way to work. So I'm gonna give you guys a little update about what's been happening at my job. Um, I'm on my way to McDonald's right now just to get some coffee because I woke up later. I did not have time to make coffee, but there's a setting on my Keurig that you could put the time in so it can make the coffee for you and have it ready. I don't know why I don't utilize that. Anyway, so I'm on my way to McDonald's to get some coffee. But let me give you guys a little update on what's going on at my job. So remember I told you I have a director that she was old school and she could not wait until everyone gets back in the office because she feels that everyone should be in the office working and she hate working remote and she hate having people remote and whatever okay that's how she feels that's whatever so she is phasing out retiring so she actually moved to a different department which it's like she's almost 90 years old so maybe she's doing it just to keep busy I don't know but just retire already enjoy the rest of your life you know that's what I would do but not my business so she hired another director and this lady we thought that oh she's gonna be this wonderful awesome person and which she may be I haven't really had a chance to get to know her because you know we've been working remote and I'm not there with her every day but every time I think of her I want to 
cover my ears because she's loud. And I don't mean loud, like you have some loud people. I'm loud in my house because, you know, I'm in my house or whatever, but she's like literally loud. She walks in and she screams good morning. And one time she actually made me jump and she goes, oh, I guess that was a little bit too loud. Yeah, you're loud. But anyway, she likes working remote and she feels that a lot of people can get more work done being remote than actually at the job and I'm glad she feels that way so we are still going to continue with our remote schedule but remember I told you guys that we're building a space for us that complies with the CDC and you know six foot away and whatever like that so I didn't tell you guys this but on Friday I actually went to the job a little bit to pack up my desk and put it in boxes and whatnot and so yeah they moved it over the weekend for everyone and so today we're gonna be in our new space if by any chance I get to vlog that way you guys can see it um, if it doesn't have the company name on it or anything like that then I will do it but if not then I will just try to vlog what I can I absolutely hate this angle because y'all get all this and not pretty for the rest of February we have to be in the office working every day which I don't know doesn't make any sense to me I mean I see going to, oops I'm pulling into McDonald's y'all so give me one second one second got my coffee so I don't remember the last thing I said but I can see us being there all day today and maybe even tomorrow just to have everything set up and whatnot but they want us there for the rest of February like actually in office and this is me just being spoiled because you know I've been home mostly then at the job but in March we are going to continue our hybrid schedule <clears throat> So, yeah. And today they wanted us to wear our company shirts. I don't know if you guys can see. So when they offered us company shirts, I'm thinking, okay, I'm looking for the black one. They didn't have black at all. I'm looking for a gray one, no gray, no white. You know how <laughs> they had all the ugly colors. You know how when a kid is, our kids are coloring and they leave all the unwanted colors in the box. That's what I felt like they gave us the choice of, the choice was the box of colors that was left that no one wanted. Because I'm not a fan of purple, but if I was to get something purple, it would be more like a deep purple. And yeah, so they wanted us, oh, wear your company shirt today so we can take a team picture. My manager actually texted us like really super late on Friday night. And I've learned from experience in the past. I never answer. I don't answer. When they text me or call me after hours, um, I'm not available. I'm sorry, I'm not. And so she was like, oh yeah, wear your shirt so we can take a picture, blah, 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 whatever. And so people were messaging her back and I just kept, I had to silence it because I'm like, I don't want to see it. And I started to act like I didn't get it and just wear whatever I wanted to. I'm like, no, let me just go ahead and wear this stupid, ugly shirt. They were even still texting on Saturday and I didn't even read anything. I just, you know, swiped it away. It sounds kind of mean, I know, but that's just the way I am. You'd have to know our manager to understand. Okay, so I am back at home and work went okay. I still don't see why we have to be there all month. It's whatever, but kind of decorated my desk, what I showed you guys. I was actually waiting until we got in there so I could see what I want and how the setup is. Just sitting here and I'm actually catching up on Euphoria. I 
missed the last two episodes so I watched last week's and then another episode came on last night so I'm about to watch that and then nothing y'all nothing at all if there's anything vlog worthy I'll bring the camera out but probably not Shine's not here Tariq is at work and Savannah's in her room and I'm in mine so not a whole lot's going on right now y'all Hey everybody, it is Tuesday evening, 7.30, and I'm home alone. Usually I have Boston to keep me company when Savannah's gone, but no Boston. I better stop or I'm going to cry. Anyway, Cheyenne is with a friend, and the kids always tease me because I give you guys a rundown of where they all are. But Cheyenne is with a friend, Savannah is at a Bible study, and Tyreek is at work. So it's literally just me. And I'm just heating up some Chinese food that we had left over. I am just going to relax the rest of the night. Nothing else going on. Nothing at all, y'all. Nothing. I'm bored. Boy, do I miss sitting here. But it won't be long. Not that much longer. Mm -hmm. 